Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Rohit here, and I am in front of one of my favorite museums here in New York City, the Interbit Sea, Air, and Space Museum. And I want to take you all along with me. So let's go. That's the U.S. Interbit over there. These are the ticket prices for the museum, and I am coming through Bank of America Museum Honors Initiative, so it's free for me. Just passed the security check. I have to do is show my Bank of America debit card, and I'm through. These are the add-ons at the museum, and for GeForce you need company, so I'll wait and get the ticket at that place. I'm planning to get the VR experience, and then here I'm planning to get the Concord experience at 2:30 and highlight store. <laughs> this is the map of the museum. We got the Interpret Museum store. Give us a museum map, and I'm inside the museum. This is the hangar deck, flight deck. We have the Concord all the way at the back. This is the entrance to the submarine. We have the Norwegian Joy Cruise. Give you all a brief history about this place. U.S. Intrepid was an aircraft carrier that was used during World War II and Vietnam War. This vessel was decommissioned in 1974, and the museum was opened in 1982. The way how I am going to see this museum is to visualize myself. Being in the ship, being in the water, in the ocean, along with so many other people, this was their home. So that's how I'm going to see this place, and I hope you all do the same as well. Already got a plan of how I'm going to see this museum. I'm going to complete the add-ons and the simulators first. Yo, this Concord is amazing. I'm in front of the Concord God of Solo photo shoot, and I'm so excited for this. This one was decommissioned in 2003. Look at the size of this plane. This is huge. Came to the end of the pier, and people are jet skiing in the water. Going crazy over this Concord. Concord experience starts at 2:30 p.m., but that's not stopping me from taking pictures. Rolls Royce engine. This Concord has the world record and has traveled twice the speed of sound. We got the Midtown Manhattan skyline. This is the line for the submarine growler that was commissioned during the Cold War. The Regulus One missile. Wow. They're given the history of the growler. So excited to enter this place, and I'm going to learn a lot. Oh, oh, they converted a whole aircraft carrier to be a cool museum inside. Have this inclusive projects as well. Planning to explore the inside of the museum after the highlight tour. This is the G-Force Encounter for which I need company, so I'm hoping to find one. Just asked about it and they told it's for three minutes and most of them are with family, so I'm not getting any company. So hopefully by the end of it I'll try to go. Otherwise, it's okay. Next time I'll come with company and get it done. This is the Interpret 4D experience. Got a complimentary photo shoot by the museum. Another museum store, and I'm here for the VR experience. Start and now on the VR set. VR experience was so cool. Like I could be in the space shuttle of Apollo 11, like walking on the moon, and then you can see Neil Armstrong over there say that one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind, and it was so cool. Then they also showed Mars. It's amazing. Definitely worth it. At the space shuttle pavilion, so I'll show you the space shuttle Enterprise, which was designed as a test vehicle, the first space shuttle ever built by NASA. Stories of NASA space shuttle fleet. Columbia, the one that exploded. The next one also exploded. Discovery with the most missions at 39. U.S. Enterprise. What's interesting is that this one never went to space. Wow, it's wonderful to see a space shuttle. Yeah. Fanboying over the space shuttle right now. Space shuttles are always so interesting, and it's amazing to see one live in person. It looks so huge.
como es por dentro, ¿verdad? Sí. 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 Fifty thousand Lego bricks used to build this. Fifty five, and I have to rush for the highlights tour in the museum, and everyone was telling me to walk. You get to keep that at the end. Oh wow! Thank you. Souvenir. Free lanyard, <laughs> intrepid lanyard. Thank you. So you this lanyard, and I'm so excited. Wherever I go, I'm collecting lanyards. Nazi Germany and Poland that started the war in Europe. And then even before that, uh, in East Asia, the Imperial Japanese Empire is concerned they may not be able to stay neutral forever. That answer pretty much all of these. I get the answer question on all these answers. Wow. E12. Master, then the SO71. Mark 3 speed. That's like amazing. First aircraft carrier enterprise, CD6, the one that served in World War II, uh, was one of the most decorated ships in U.S. history. So he uh, convinced NASA, and by convinced I mean ordered NASA, to change the name of Enterprise of Constitution to Enterprise. Just completed the highlights tour. Definitely worth checking it out. I was asking questions, he was answering. He was asking questions, I was answering. It was more like GK quiz, but we learned a lot about the flights, the hangar, the space shuttle as well and now I'm going to the Concorde tour. I mean the best part is during the 30 years when it was commissioned, a lot of world events has happened like the World War II, Vietnam War so, and the interpret has been a witness to all of that so that's the most amazing part for me. For the Concorde tour to start I'm super excited for this as well, got the tickets. Like you know things in place to protect the actual people. Wow. Wow. In Concord class. I'm entering the cockpit. Wow. So many buttons and meters. The cockpit here, the Concorde. Wow. Ticket for Concorde. Concorde experience. Just got done with the Concorde experience. Totally worth it. You're sitting in a vessel that actually created history. Wow, it's totally worth it. I mean, military aircrafts were asked to give way. History of Concorde was amazing. Solo photo shoot done with the help of guide. I mean, there's no first class, second class, and all of that. There's only Concorde class. Photo is amazing. 10 to 12,000 for a ticket, round trip ticket from New York to London. People would hop on the plane, go and come back the same day itself. I mean, when the plane actually reached Mark II, the twice the speed of sound, there would actually be marriage proposals, bottle of champagne being opened, and I mean, so many celebrities used to travel. I mean, I, I mean, when you imagine and think of it this way, two countries, Air France and British Airways, two different cultures and traditions, two different measurements actually came together to create that aircraft. And I mean, it operated in losses, so that's a different story. But the whole point of the name Concord is Harmony and it was amazing, the tour was amazing, totally worth it.
Now I'm going to see the submarine. Which line for the submarine? This is an exhibition right before you enter the submarine. Inside the missile. Going to enter the submarine. The first nuclear submarine of the US to store the missile. Many crew members believed that if they launched the missile, it would be quickly discovered and destroyed by the enemy. They lived with this risk every day while on patrol. Brower's longest time on patrol was 72 days. Two months at sea may not sound so difficult, but on a submarine, it's a different story. Brower's crew numbered from 90 to 100 men. They worked, slept, ate, and relaxed inside these close quarters. While on patrol, Brower stayed below the surface. The crew could not leave the submarine. They had no sunshine, no starlight, and very little fresh air. As you move through the submarine, imagine what life was like for these men, and keep in mind that every single one of them served on Growler voluntarily. As technology improved, newer, larger submarines with more sophisticated missiles made Growler obsolete. It was decommissioned in 1964 after six years of service. The Navy planned to use Growler as target practice for another submarine until it was rescued by the Intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum. In 1988, Congress turned control of Growler over to the museum and it opened to the public a year later. Growler is now the only U.S. Navy missile submarine open to the public. It is remarkably intact from its Navy service and retains most of its original features. We ask for your help in preserving this historic vessel. Please do not touch anything inside the submarine and do not bring in food or drinks. You'll be entering momentarily. Staff inside the submarine will be happy to answer any questions you have. Feel free to take photos. Wow. Imagine living here during patrol. Such a tight space. This is the toilet area. And then you have the missile checkout and guidance center. And the officer shower area. So tight.
वार्डरूम वॉज देयर कैबिन दे हैड वॉश बेसिन बंक बेड डेस्क एंड लॉकर कमांडिंग ऑफिसर स्टेट रूम गेट्स अ बिगर बेड एंड प्राइवेसी वाओ पेरिस्कोप सोना रूम दिस रेडियो रूम गोइंग थ्रू दिस इज फन जस्ट हैव टू बेंड ओवर एंड देन गो कलरी Oh, kitchen. The cruise mess. We have the beds. Oh. So traveling alone, I'm asking the person behind me to take the pictures. Ooh, it's so fun. Wide angle to capture this, so you can imagine how cramped this area is. Washroom and toilets. The engine room, and control booth, the crew members list, and the torpedo room at the back. And we are outside. It was really amazing going inside a submarine. Submarine was really fun going inside a submarine. It's actually my second time coming to the museum. First time I enjoyed it. Second time I'm coming here for vlogging. Oh, it's so cool. Like the cruise is going to start. Back at the hangar deck. That's the only thing remaining. Can't believe that they built this whole thing in 17 months and they are comparing it to the Chrysler building. Slightly shorter than the building and then nine decks in total. The meaning of the word is fearless. This is the bell. optical landing system to guide the planes look at this huge propeller the flights that they kept inside this is the avenger kamikaze north american f1 fury attractive exhibits for the kids exhibit for the vietnam war deck has a few flights and a lot of readings to go through so i did that and it was really fun okay the world war 2 scoreboard 
the number of ships sunk. We have the pilot's escalator, aircraft fueling station. Now I'm at the flight deck. Many flights on display. This blue flight is a loaner from the Italian government, and we have the Empire State Building over there. This flight, there's an information board to know about the flight better. Radar plane, the huge radar dome at the top. This is the Tomcat made famous by the movie Top Gun. Lockheed A12 made by the CIA at the speed of Mark 3. We have a few helicopters. Cool flights here, and it's a very different experience to see the flights close up in person. To enter the flag bridge area. This is the tight space, another floor to climb. This is the officer's cabin. This is the chart house where they plan their missions. And the map. Veteran. Thank you for your service. Sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Good see. Miles an hour. It's pretty slow in the car, isn't it? But on the water, that's quite fast. Not for a very long time. What is it for? How much? What it's what for? This ship it used to be you have the uh, compass. There's people like, down there. It used to be a battle. Well, it used to be an aircraft carrier that the United States commissioned. Yeah, well, you know, they don't want to fall out. Captain's chair. Dad. Yeah, buddy. Over here. For the flights. Another radar. That's the aircraft elevator. Flights. The bridge was nice, that's where the main controls happened in a way apart from the engine room. Wow. These are the guns on Intrepid. The bunk beds. So junior officer bunk room. You can imagine them being here, sharing stories about how their day went. Wow.
wash basins. This is the other side of the bunk room. It's so cool that I'm walking through history. I'm actually enjoying this. And I'm in the anchor chain room. Look at the size of these anchors. Back at the hangar deck. at this lie down on a bunk imagine it's your bed for six months at sea communication at sea ship sounds voice tube the catcher which was the interpret's newspaper and the morse code i'm inside the space vessel imagine a life at sea to bottom i make sure that i see the whole museum actually wherever i go I search for food first but here i have the mess deck last Wow, you can visualize chefs in a very busy kitchen. Machine shop. Waiting for the show to start. News of a nation at war. Led by the aircraft carriers of the United States specifically. Here's just one of those mighty flat tops. The USS Intrepid. Launched in 1943. Wow, so interactive. I'm Lieutenant Dominic DeMarzo, Fire Marshal for the USS Intrepid. At least here we are having few screens. Imagine being at sea. Oh, think about the battle for later goal. Our planes have sent 28 Japanese warships, including the super battleship Musashi. They said we put the Japanese Navy out of action for good. But it wasn't ships that worried us anymore. Leyte Gulf had given us our first taste of the latest tactic, the Kamikaze. We lost 10 more men, but the worst was still in front. Kamikaze attacks. Hey, hey! Oh, this was actually the hangar deck, so imagine getting attacked. It is 6 p.m. the closing time of the museum and I have been in this place for 7 hours. Yo, I said that this is one of the coolest museums in New York City for a reason. You get to go inside the Concorde, go inside the submarine and you as an intrepid. If someone who likes to learn about space, there is Enterprise. Totally enjoyed my solo day. Definitely worth coming here and just living through history, you know. Thank you all for watching. See you all in another video. Till then, bye from me.